What's up guys? Welcome to the Chess Giant. This is Solomon Ardell bringing you another Tactics Tuesday on Gary Kasparov. This is actually the most famous game Kasparov ever played as he went against Veselin Topolov and found a beautiful way to end this game. Here Kasparov didn't settle for quiet positional chess but played the aggressive and somewhat crazy looking move Rook takes D4. This move may seem crazy enough as it gives up a whole entire rook for a mere pawn. But now, after giving one rook, Kasparov offers a second with rook e7. I mean, what is Kasparov doing? Giving up one rook, giving up the other. But here, black can't really take the rook on e7 because if queen takes e7, we now have queen takes d4 check, followed by king b8, and now queen b6 check. Notice how this king cannot come to c8 because of this very strong bishop on h3 piercing down on the c8 square. So now after bishop b7, we have knight c6 check, and after king a8, queen a7 checkmate, game over. So following rook e7 check, we now see Topolov forced to play king b6, and now we see queen takes d4 check from Kasparov. Topolov could have played queen c5, but didn't want to give up the knight with queen takes f6 check. So now with king takes a5, we see b4 check. And now after king a4, queen c3. Threatening mate and one with queen b3 checkmate. So now from Topolov, we see queen takes d5, defending that square on b3. And now rook a7, Kasparov again threatening mate and one with rook takes a6. So now we see bishop b7, and here Kasparov gobbles up the bishop with rook takes b7. Obviously, queen takes b7 is not an option because of queen b3 checkmate game over. So we now see queen c4, Topolov desperately trying to hold on here, trying to trade down the pieces, but Kasparov doesn't take the queen, but instead plays queen takes f6, which, again, threatens checkmate in one with queen takes a6. So now we see from Topolov, king takes a3. Crazy how far this king has come, all the way down to the a3 square. And now from Kasparov, we see queen takes a6 check. And following, king takes b4. As if Kasparov has not played well enough already, he now played c3 check. I really like this move from Kasparov. At first sight, before c3 check, it may seem as if the black king is finally somehow kind of safe on b4, but with playing c3 check, the king again becomes exposed, and queen takes c3 doesn't work because of the simple queen takes b5 check, followed by rook a7, and rook takes a5 checkmate. So following c3 check, we see king takes c3, and now queen a1 check, attacking the king on c3, forcing the king to d2, and now queen b2 check. And here Topolov could have played a move like king e1 or king e3, but didn't want to do that because this rook on b7 would be able to come to e7 with check and attack the king. So here we see king d1, and now another brilliant move from Kasparov, bishop f1 offering up the bishop and the idea is if queen takes f1 by doing this the queen gives up the c2 square and we're now able to play queen c2 check forcing the king to that e1 square so that now the rook can come to play and following queen e2 obviously with queen takes e2 it's game over so following bishop f1 Topolov really couldn't take the bishop and instead played rook d2. And again, Kasparov played a brilliant move with rook d7, pinning the rook to the king. And now after rook takes d7, we see Kasparov take the queen off the board and now take the rook off the board. And Kasparov now has a winning position. Following rook d3, Kasparov continues with queen a8, protecting that pawn on f3. And following c3, we see queen a4 check. And following king e1, f4, f5, king c1, 
rook d2, and now queen a7. Nice leverage from the queen here, threatening both ideas of queen e3 check and maybe even queen g1 check at times. And here, Topolov resigned the game. Look, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. Kasparov is considered by many as the greatest chess player to ever play the game. And this game really shows why. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more chess content. And as always, I'm wishing y'all an amazing day. Peace. Thanks for watching today's video. If you'd like to watch another one, you can click or tap up here. And I've got a lot more high quality chess content on the way. So if you'd like to subscribe, you can click or tap down here. I really appreciate your support.